Hey, YouTube. How you doing? I decided to come in real quick and let you guys know I have just pulled up at the doctor's office. And I am going to go see my new OB. Like I said, it's my first time going to see a male OB. His name is Dr. Hunter. And he comes pretty highly recommended. Um, so hopefully we will see what's going on. So thank you girls for your support, your comments, and everything else. And I'll get back with you. Hey, you two ladies. I'm back. I just got in the car. I had my well woman's exam, and I did talk to Dr. Hunter about my CTCN. So, of course, I have to come back for my infertility work up. But I am getting my regular routine blood work that I have to go to another facility to go do. So, regular routine blood work. I don't know if I told you ladies in my last video that my cycle has not come this month. I am on, ooh, cycle day 40, 43, 42, something in that range and nothing. So, I took a pregnancy test Sunday or yeah, Sunday and both were all three were negative. So he gave me some Provera to start my cycle. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I have to go back and look at my videos. I don't know if I told you guys my cycle history. Okay, so what else did I get from Dr. Hunter? Um get help before pregnancy. Yeah. And of course, I already knew this, but I need to take folic acid. So, I guess I'll be going back some pills. I just kind of have stopped doing all that stuff, but still kind of sort of TTC. And so now it's time to get back on the grind, healthier eating, and losing some of this weight, and and going forth and seeing what happens. So I'm just trying to keep you ladies posted. And probably make a little another part to the video when I get home. But I call my baby and let him know what's going on. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, my YouTube family. How are you? I am here to put a conclusion to this video. And I'm in the house now. And this camera looks so rainy. So I hope everything kind of works out. Um, as you know, I went to the OB. And I got to see Dr. Hunter. Excuse me. I had my little woman's exam, and we talked about my fertility issues. Went over here with my cycle history, and I'm not sure if I ever went over my cycle history with you ladies, but I'm going to share that with you. I started my cycles when I was like 11 years old, and from like in the fifth grade, from like the fifth grade to the seventh grade, I had a cycle every other month. When I hit the seventh grade, I started having my cycles every three months. By the time I got to high school, I started having my cycles every six months. Well, when I was still in middle school, my mom took me to an OB, and she was like, oh, well, she's having a slight hormone balance. As she gets older, it'll um, balance itself out. Well, it never balanced itself out. When I got out of high school and I had a job that had insurance, I went to a doctor and she did a biopsy, I think, and she pulled some lining off my uterus and tested it. And uh, she, I guess she gave me Provera then also and gave me some to start my period. And then she put me on birth control. Well, when I lost the job and the insurance, I stopped taking the birth control and my periods went back to every six months. Um, Plus, I was just horrible at taking birth control. I don't think that I've ever been pregnant, but I may have had a miscarriage when I was around 20, 21, um, because my periods came like they came. Um, from one time I got my period, I had my period for like two weeks. It was really, really heavy. It was really, really clotty. And um, I remember this one instance, I was going to my cousin's house. It was in like the spring, summer. My... Um, Allergies were bothering me, and I'm halfway to the house, and I don't know what pursues me to put on some white shorts, but I had on some white shorts, and I sneezed, and blood went everywhere. I had to turn back around, throw them shorts out, and start over. So, I don't know. So that was, I told him all that, all except the whole maybe miscarriage thing, but I told him about the three, you know, every other month, the three months, six months. I was 25, so now, I don't know if I told you ladies, but I'm telling you now, 
um, this cycle, my cycle hasn't come. I'm on cycle day 41, and I've never had a cycle this long, especially since I've been charting. But even at that, it, my cycles are usually anywhere from 30 to 35 days. So 41 days, so that's like six days past due. All my pregnancy tests are negative, so he gave me Prevera to start my cycle. He also um, sent me to do some lab work, which I had this really weird experience at the lab. <laughs> I went to go get the lab, and the lady was like, oh, well, hmm, it's going to be a while. You can come back in the morning, so I have to go back in the morning. Um, and this, I don't think it's so much uh, fertility. I think he's just, like, doing everything, thyroid, cholesterol, you know, just giving me the whole workup because uh, it's a fasting blood work. So I have to go do that in the morning. And I should get my results back in seven to ten day business days for my path, and we're gonna take it from there, and then schedule the fertility workup and all that. So I will keep you ladies posted. I want to thank everybody that sent me some comments. Thank you for everybody that viewed my video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.